being able to cover myself with maybe a private health insurance the first plan i have for my finances this year has to be hitting a certain amount in my emergency fund last year i did a lot of saving besties i saved saved i almost saved my life off after saving we are investing this year y'all i was going to actually catch a lot of flights actually this year i was going to travel the world with you and you know niche out to travel i have dreams to travel africa but that we might actually do this year you don't want to be in a situation where you can't pay your rent because uh you lost your job or you closed down your business or something hey besties welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here today and in case you're new here my name is laura i am a kenyan youtuber and i'm based here in nakuru i create videos surrounding my life today besties i want to share with you my 2022 financial goals and more financial plans actually than financial goals it's a plan i've drawn inside my mind and also noted down on my notebook um i'm so passionate about financial awareness financial growth financial literacy and that's why i share with you a lot of things about finances i'm not afraid to talk about finances um sharing with you guys especially here on youtube usually bring me more good than harm and that's why even today and even this year 2022 i'm going to do it uh, last year, I softly shared with you the same things. You guys have noticed that I achieved most of my goals. I achieved most of my financial goals last year. But there are some that also I couldn't achieve. I tried, but I couldn't. A good example that most of you can remember is owning a washing machine. Well, this year, my financial goals have really, really changed. When I compare them to last year's own, I really feel that I've grown a lot. You know, financial goals are so personal. They depend on a lot of things. Your ambition, your commitment, the stage in life at which you are in, and also your personal finances, how they are. You cannot go above them. They always determine a lot. That's why I'm saying this year's financial plans that I have are really, really different from last year's on. And I'm happy about it because it shows me how far I've come from and how far I could go if I keep working hard and if I keep doing the right thing. On the same note, before I started planning my financial goals for the year, I also had to reflect on last year's on how it went what i achieved and what i didn't achieve if i'm going to carry it forward to this year or i'm going to pause on it a little bit and you know just start afresh this year it's always good to reflect not just chasing 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 and chasing finances it's also good to stop and reflect back and celebrate and even celebrating the wins you made and also reflecting on the mistakes and that's exactly what i've just done uh, why i'm sharing this video is so that some of you who've not yet planned your this year's financial plans can get into it and also by listening to mine you can maybe uh borrow one or two things and use on yours and also if you are planning not to do it at all maybe this is a sign that um you can start doing it if you are comfortable with it so me coming here to share this is because of my own good because by sharing that's how i feel when i share these things i do share here on my youtube channel no one else can feel can get and understand it but i know how i feel it really really helps me mentally i guess mostly mentally it does something to me it really does and another thing is for you my besties i love to share with you most of you actually learn from my sharing and you tell me that so when you tell me that you love it and you get inspired by it and you learn from it i keep sharing i want this to be very very up close i want to share uh 
into details as much as I can. My plans are very, very straightforward. So believe you me, this video is going to be very, very brief, but very heavy somehow. If you've never had a financial plan in your life and you're thinking how you'll even start it, first of all, start by having your objectives. Identify your objectives. And that's how you'll get to draw a strategy that you can use to, to achieve these goals. My major objective is achieving financial security, being self-actualized. That's my major objective. So whatever I do, whatever I plan or however I plan my finances, it's, it's usually uh, surrounding that major objective. So every other thing that I plan is usually um, it roots from this one point. So identify your objective and after objectifying it, you can now draw your strategies. So besties, I hope you are ready for me to take you through my 2022 financial plans. And without wasting so much time, let's do this. So I have five of them written on my notebook as usual. Writing things down actually does something. In no particular order, the first plan I have for my finances this year has to be hitting a certain amount in my emergency fund. Late last year, it was December 2021, I opened my emergency fund account. I held this conversation on my Instagram stories. I usually do. I love to hold uh, financial conversations on my Instagram stories with my Instagram family. This actually rooted from watching The Smart Money Woman on Netflix. If you've not watched that movie on Netflix, please go and watch it. First of all, it's a movie filmed in Africa, Nigeria, directed and acted by African. Secondly, it's a badass girl's movie and you're a badass girl. I realize I actually don't have an emergency fund. It's something I've been thinking about, but I had never taken that big step and acted upon it. I'm an action girl. I don't know how to talk about something twice. I talk once and I act that's me if i know i'm not going to act i'm not talking about it right now i'll talk about it when i'm ready but i'm more of an action girl so immediately i finished the movie i started the conversation on instagram and i was so proud of some of my besties who had around 500,000 in the emergency fund then i had zero kenyan shillings Actually, I didn't even have that account, so I went and opened my emergency funds account. And just in case you don't know, the amount of money that should be in your emergency fund should be an amount that can serve you for at least six months in case you lose your job, in case something happens and you close your business down or you close your company down. You need to have an emergency fund that can keep paying your bills you can keep living comfortably as if uh, there's nothing that you can happen to you. You can imagine you closing your, your company down uh, out of the booth and still carrying on with your life as if nothing happened just because you had some money that can take you up to six months. And for the period of six months, of course, you'll have figured out uh, the next step in life. Or even you can use some money from the emergency fund to, you know, fix up your problem. You can use the money to start a business. If you're a business person and you just lost your job, that's the benefit of having an emergency fund and not just having an emergency funds account, but having some good money in it. The money that can serve you for six good months. You don't want to be in a situation where you can't pay your rent just because uh, you lost your job or you closed down your business or something. And to me, this is actually what I call an end goal. The end goal is being financially secure. Instead of having debt right, left and center, this is where uh, if you have something you want to do and you feel like you want to take a debt from someone, especially these small, small debts, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, you can just go to your emergency fund, sort yourself out and continue depositing money in that same uh, emergency fund. So I immediately opened my emergency funds account and started depositing money in it. Remember, that was just December 2021. 
pretty much something that I should have just set it as, you know, 2022 goal. But since I just wanted to act immediately, I don't want to buy any more time, decided to start it just immediately in December. Bring it forward to this year and continue with that plan. So that's me with an emergency fund. Second thing I want to achieve financially is saving up money for more international travels. I have a dream to travel the world. And I really, really believe that I'm going to achieve it. I actually almost uh, decided to take that direction this year. Besties, this year I was going to travel the world with you and, you know, niche out to travel. That was my plan. But then uh, I had a meeting with my friend, discussed it, you know. Uh, I even told her the money I had in my account and, you know, what I was hoping to start with. And I also listed to her my other goals besides uh, traveling. And then after a very long conversation and weighing out things and looking into my heart's desires and my budget and all that, we actually decided to push that a little bit forward. So this year, y'all, I was going to actually catch a lot of flights but then yeah i love to be patient i wouldn't love to start up something and then go for a few months and then i'm stuck i love to draw my strategy real real well even if it means um, me having to pause and save some more or pause and re-strategize the whole thing i'm actually very ready to wait hoping to save more money for my international travel not just international i have dreams to travel africa but that we might actually do this year let's see how it goes also besties i have a problem i actually have a problem i don't know sometimes i even want to go on a sorry sorry for the noise sometimes i even just want to go for a short vacation even a one week vacation at a two two days but then i just sit here on my couch and i'm like this is an end of vacation could do um it's something to do with being an introvert um it's not so easy on me but i'm really 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 trying if you guys can tell but this year i'm actually more outgoing and i'm planning to do it even uh more often and finally hit the milestone even here in akuru y'all mini kiwambia i'm here in akuru but i've never gone to lake naivasha i've never gone to nakuru national park y'all i don't know but yeah we're going to try i promise another financial plan i have for this year is investing last year i did a lot of saving y'all i almost saved my life off i think there's even a video i made about saving and i made a statement that i usually save money before i even pay rent like i'll rather save first before i pay any rent and, and I think there's one bestie who was against that in the comment section. But um, let me tell you besties, paying rent is an expense. The day you'll realize that paying your rent is an expense and the day you realize that saving comes before spending, that's when you'll know that you're supposed to save before spending on rent. Rent is an expense. But anyway, last year I saved, saved, saved and saved, but it really came through for me. It really helped. It's because I saved last year that I can be able to courageously sit down here and make financial plans for this year. As I told you guys in another video last year, Whatever you do today really, really determines your tomorrow. Of course, after doing the saving, you're now investing. You can't just be doing saving, saving, saving. After saving, we are investing. Uh, allow me not to talk a lot about investing. And not that I don't want to share, but it's only because I do not have a very um, well drawn out and very well strategized uh, investing plan with me yet. Investing is such a huge milestone if you ask me and i just don't want to talk 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 and talk things that i'm not sure about i want to talk about things that i'm very 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 specific and very sure about but in case of anything you'll know i'll always come here and update you guys last but not least achieving financial security <sighs> i know i had mentioned this one before but let me just 
let me l allow me talk a little about this and what I really really mean. Best is, have you ever just sat down and thought about how most of your problems in life, in one way or another, they root from finances? By achieving financial security, I mean that being able to cover myself with maybe a private health insurance and such things. But even the little things in life friend of mine requesting me for a 50,000 bob loan. I don't know why I shouldn't be able to give them 50,000 and, and be giving them 5,000 bob. I just want to give my friend the whole 50,000. I want to make an impact in communities. I want to help the poor, help the orphans. I want to help the aged. I just want that. And I really, really want to do it from my heart. You know when you're just working and you meet someone, you just feel so empathetic towards them but you can't help much you can help them but you can't help much for me having the ability to help people immediately when i feel it when i still have that fresh emotions towards them when the feeling is still very very fresh just love to work hard and achieve that financial security and be able to impact to impact the world i just pray hope and believe that We'll all make it sometime. We'll all make it with hard work, you know, commitment, you know, um, positivity. We're all going to be there. We're all going to be there. We all have these huge dreams. We honestly all want to have enough money in our bank accounts. We all want to achieve financial freedom. But what you are doing today, what you are doing now, who you are listening to, who you are watching, who you are following on Instagram, the movies you are watching, there's a lot that goes into it. And praying to God, besties, and praying to God. I'll leave you with this few but very achievable financial plans for me, this 2022, besties. Until next time, let me say bye for now. I love you, besties.